Hello everybody, so I wanted to talk about what replays and demos are because they're cool features in the game and I don't think there's too too much out there for learning about them unless you actually talk to people. So replays are basically spectator mode. You get to go through a game, watch it back, rewind, view stats, view different POVs, all that good stuff. And I'll show you what it looks like. The criteria for being able to replay a game it has to be a ranked game, it has to be under a week old, it has to be from the current patch, and there needs to be at least one player in the game who is in diamond. So if there is, if it's a game with 10 gold players, even if it's this patch, even if it's ranked, even if it's under a week old, you cannot replay that game. So that kind of sucks, but that's the way it is right now. So if you want to replay a game, what you got to do is you go to your history and it's this details tab. This is the replay ID. So you do, you type in system chat slash replay. And let's say I want to go over this Grover game. I will type in 114038 just the ID right there, hit enter. It'll take a second to load up, but eventually it will load us into here. I'm not going to cover how to use this too much. I lied. I am going to cover this just because I think it's probably best if people know. So we're going to go over the basics. There's not much else in the basics. It's pretty simple, but I figured it'd be a good idea to go over it anyways. So WASD to move around, Q and E to go up and down mouse to look around. Pretty simple. If you go to options, there are these for a spectator. Uh, you can have these on or whatever. Um, just to show you what these look like. Just to turn them on. Just team one, team two. You can see what they look like at the top. That's how they did it for different esports teams and stuff. If you want them to go away, just set them to negative one. And the, uh, well, the scores will go away, I guess, but the, uh, you can get rid of the names. And those will go away too. So Q and E to go around, and you will notice that the game is paused, and that's because you can pause it. And the button to pause it is the pause button. So like your keyboard literally has a pause button. Uh, mine is just to the left of my numpad. So that'll depend on what kind of keyboard you have, where that button is. Uh, if you don't have a numpad, I guess you'll have to use an on-screen keyboard. You can fast forward and slow down. So that will be page up and page down. Well, slow up and speed down your game. If you want to look at different POVs, we're going to pause for this. Go ahead and pause. It's numlock and then zero through, zero through nine. So if we want to spectate me, uh, I'm the Furia in this game, so I'll hit 2, and that'll bring me there, because 0, 1, 2, so. If we want to see uh, some different options, we can hit F2, see what items that I have, hit F3 to see what build I have, and hit F1 to go back to abilities. You can hit F6 to view different items, F7 to view everyone's builds, and F8 to view KDAs. And to go back, it's F5. Uh, I don't think F4 does anything. So F1, F2, F3, and then F5 through F8. For the stats on the side, one is net worth. This is not numpad one, just regular one, the one that's above your, you know, your, your QWERTY keyboard, your above the letters. 2 is damage dealt, 3 is damage shielded, 4 is healing, 5 is objective time, and 0 will bring that away. I think that's all there really is. Um, nothing else is super useful. Um, it is worth pointing out, we're going to fast forward a bit, you can fast forward up to 4 times, that if you um, rewind, things start getting funky. So. I'm gonna slow it back down. And you can see right here, 
something's off, right? This does not look right. So Spectator is pretty buggy. There are a few bugs. If you rewind too many times, there's a decent chance the game will crash, um, which is not great. So don't rewind too many times. Or at the very least, be prepared for bugs and or crashes. You also can't fly through walls. You have to obey collision and all that. So I think that sums it up. So back to the rest of the video. One important bug that I forgot to mention is if you accidentally hit the asterisk on your numpad, things get really messy and there's only one way to fix it. You hit the slash on your numpad and then go to someone's POV. It's a common issue. Don't hit the asterisk on your keyboard, but if you do, that's how to fix it. Now actually back to the video. We can always hit escape, go back to lobby and replay another one. So that, that's basically it for replays. That's how they work. That is, that's it. So demos are a lot less known. So demos are basically replays. They get saved as a file. So what you want to do is you want to go to this folder path and here is mine right now. So you can see that there is, there's currently nothing in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Paladins and we're going to replay, I don't know, a Furia game, the one below the Grover. So again, type in the match ID or the replay ID or whatever. It'll load us in. And then as soon as we load in, we can go back to the lobby. And then if we check our path again, there will be a file here. So this is a .demo file. And like I said, they're basically replays that you can save. So you can mess around with them, do whatever. I'm just gonna rename them to my demo. Cool. So how to use these, make sure that the .demo file is in your demos folder, again, with this folder path. Then you go back to your game, type slash demo play, and then the name. You don't have to include my demo, just the file name. And it will pop right back up. It'll work exactly the same as any other replay would. These will work longer for seven days because it's from a file. These will last forever, but they still need to be from the current patch. That's the only, only thing about this, is you need to make it by replaying a game, and it'll only work if you have the file and if it's from the current patch. So you can import these if you want. You can send them to people. Just make sure that they are a .demo file and that you put them in that folder. And that sums it all up. So I hope this was helpful. Remember the link for how to use Spectator will be in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.